In this ASP.NET MVC series, we'll be covering a couple of tips and tricks which will make your life easier when you're working on an ASP.NET web project. So over here, I have a sample application created. And here you can see inside my views directory, I have this home directory. And here in home directory, I have this trainings.cshtml file. Similarly, for this trainings, I've got a controller, home controller. And here I have the trainings method defined. Now, what I want to do is access this trainings as a URL like website name slash trainings. But as you can see, it's inside the home directory. So the default URL that gets formed is website name forward slash controller name, then the action name. And if there are any parameters, they will come in that. So here I just want to make sure that it's directly accessed from the URL itself. That is website name slash trainings. Now I'll show you how currently it's running. So let's click over here. So this is how my URL is currently looking. Home slash trainings. What I want is just remove the home from here and the URL should look like this. So website name will come over here and then trainings. So using this pattern, I want to render this particular page. Now let's go ahead and our code and see how we can do this. I'll be first of all going to app start directory. Here I'll be opening up a route.config file. And here I'll be simply copying this map route. And here I'll be pasting it. Now note that a few changes I'll be making over here. The first being the name. I'll be naming it as trainings. Now whenever this name will come, this is the URL format that will be used. So it is going to be like trainings. And then if there are any IDs to it, that will come. This is for parameters. And after that, we have this defaults, new, controller is home, and action will be trainings. And then ID as URL parameter dot optional. So doing this makes our URL from home slash trainings to trainings. Now if I save this and run it again and there you go you can see that now this URL is accessible and uh, it's no more meaningful actually if you see so directly coming onto the website slash trainings makes it more meaningful as far as URL is concerned rather than having it with home slash trainings so that's how we rewrite URL in ASP.NET MVC.